Hey everybody, this is Stumpbreaker. I'm here to give you some pragmatic quick facts on the hike of Mount Mitchell in North Carolina. First thing, number one, the length of this trail. All trails has it at 12.5 miles. My Garmin Instinct measured at 12.75. And of course, as you will hear later in this video, Nav believes that it's 14 miles or could possibly be 17 or 18 miles and everybody's lying to her. Number two, elevation gain total is 37.14 according to all trails. Garmin Instinct measured 37.01 and that's from the parking lot where we started. Speaking of parking, number three, uh, parking in general, there's about 30 spots. It's fully paved, easy access down a um, dirt road that's pretty good right on the river. It's actually quite a nice drive. There's no fee or no box for a fee to be collected there uh, where you get to the trailhead. Camping on the trails number four. There are plenty of spots all the way up camping that you could take. There's some fire pits with rings laid out um, at several spots and uh, there's quite some beautiful locations on the way up that you could camp. Number five, time to complete for us, it was eight hours and 28 minutes. This included a very long 50 minute lunch at the summit. We also met some hikers uh, that passed us on the way up that we hung out with, very cool dudes. Uh, number six, the date. We hiked on April 28th, 2021. We started at 8.38 a.m. Um, I will tell you guys that it had not rained in two days before we got up there, and it was full sun, very, very nice weather, as you can see from a lot of the photos. Blue skies, uh, couldn't have been better. And the temperature when we started was around 72 degrees, and it ended up being no hotter than about 85 the entire time, so it was really not a bad temperature. Shade on the trail. 80% of the trail is full shade or most shade. The summit is extremely exposed and you get really hot up there in some spots near Commissary Hill. Now when you come through a stretch and some power line issues are full sun exposure, but it's very brief. Traffic overall on the trail, I would tell you, is very low. There was nothing really that we worried about running into people. I think we came down and maybe met uh, 20 people at most on the trail. That's up and down from full length. Trail difficulty, this joker is not easy. It is very hard. <laughs> I would probably rank it about a 9 out of 10 on difficulty. Um, you could probably do it at most intermediate and advanced levels experience in hiking, but it is nothing but pure elevation, and uh, it just takes a long time to do 12 miles, so just keep that in mind. So we started in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, we followed the signs out of Asheville for the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is where you should go. Um, it's about an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 20 minute drive. You follow the Blue Ridge Parkway marked here, um, and you can see it's a windy road that goes uh, for quite some time. This is it marked in red, and this is your path where you're going to end up. Highway 80, you want to make a left-hand turn, it's the only intersection, and that'll get you there. Before you get to Highway 80, you will see this, Black Mountain Gap. You will see Mount Mitchell sign, do not go there, it's a trap. This is the trailhead map for the Mount Mitchell State Park. Marked in purple is where we started the video, we will see in just a moment. Uh, parking situation there and information you need. Um, this is the right here is the trail you'll take mm, highlighted in yellow and the top of the peak will be marked here. Uh, that's where you're going to end your hike after everything's said and done. Park here, come out, go over, you'll see Mount Mitchell Trailhead. Across the river, over there, you can see the red blazes, <laughs> blue blazes. <laughs> what in the blue blazes is going on here? Come across the bridge, Mount Mitchell. This is the famous warning sign about sudden weather changes and imminent death on Mount Mitchell. Um, be careful, check your weather constantly. Um, it can change very rapidly, there's no joke here. This is a great clip right here to show you the very beginning of the trail. It just starts going up as soon as you cross through the RV park and along the river, you will make a slight right hand turn and just start climbing upstairs. Um, note the roots. Um, they're everywhere. You will constantly be walking over roots, limbs, um, and also barriers for erosion 
you can see in this video and it just starts going straight up it's um it was a good hike it was starting really early in the morning it wasn't too bad at all and very few people i think as i noted before but uh, this is a good representation of what the first half of the trail is uh, it looks exactly like this the whole way up we are about 40 600 feet we're just noticing pine trees okay. and no leaves on any of the trees our cover has gone from 90 percent to about 70 percent not very many bad crossings this is a little bit of mud but and rocky but absolutely nothing out of the ordinary mount mitchell is a beautiful hike no matter which way you slice it this is the first real river crossing, and I use that term lightly, more like a stream <laughs> that we came to. Um, we were doing this and it had rained about three days beforehand, two days beforehand, and so you can see the water flow is pretty decent. It is crystal clear. There are two real spots on the trail I found to refill water if you need to. Um, I used two and a half liter um, uh, Osprey camel pack and it worked great for me but I did refill twice just because the water was nice and cold but it's just a beautiful place and it's totally quiet and serene no refill good. Less than an eighth of a mile left. It is a lot of this. <sighs> A lot of stairs. Hey, hey, look at this. Welcome to North Carolina State Park. Nice. We get a prize. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. There was a ranger here. Congratulations. That's right. Pay us our money. That's it. They're going to be like, pay us our money. When you start getting close to the top, you'll know it. Not only because you're tired, but because you'll start seeing extra people wandering down the trail you're coming up. Um, this is the last of the tree line, sort of, that you come out of, and the last part of the trail also becomes like a pea gravel stuff. And there is the Welcome Center house with us and a whole bunch of other people that drove up. <laughs>
really hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to put all the relevant information right in the front, and then you could watch the rest of the trail um, if you like that kind of thing. But please like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff that we do to make sure that people will pay us money when we get thousands of subscribers. Anyway, take care, and please remember to get outside more. Thank you.